Hi, I'm Thomas Miller from the Fun Astrology Podcast. It's an audio podcast every Monday through Saturday. But now we're taking a look at the week here on YouTube and TikTok and the social media channel so we can get this in our mind and know what to anticipate through the week. And boy, do we have a doozy this week. The first big day is obviously Monday. We have six major events in the sky. It is a loaded up stack of energy. Look at the way this thing shakes out. This chart is set to just after sunrise on Monday morning, Eastern time. I'm not trying to show the exact times here. I'm just going to show you the sequence. But early, early in the morning, the first thing that happens is Jupiter, one of the benefic planets, squares the other benefic planet, Venus, to kick off the first of three big squares, well, four that day. The second square is with Saturn. And both of these happen before sunrise on Monday morning. So, I mean, it's like bam, bam. You've got that configuration in the sky. Let's put a little square over here for this one. Then the next square is between Uranus and the sun. Now, Uranus is all about sudden surprises. And of course, there's a big political convention going on today. So let's put a third square there. And that could be full of surprises or there could be surprises from other places. Or maybe we don't have any today. Maybe this is kind of baked into uh, where we are right now on our timeline. And it could be sometime this week. Or maybe it's just that rumbling that you might be feeling inside. If you're feeling the angst or uncertainty or fear right now, well... Here is probably why. I mean, then we're not done. The next thing that happens in the afternoon, it's about 1245 Eastern, is we have the full moon. That's when the sun and the moon are directly across from each other. The moon moves forward just a little bit. Like I said, I'm not trying to show it exactly, but that's the full moon. And this is a super blue full moon because it's closer to the sun. That's the super moon. And the blue moon... We're getting that label on this one because we've had four this summer. You can either have two in the same month or you can have four within a season. And we have had four full moons this season. So thus the blue. It doesn't turn blue unless you put a blue filter on it. It's the regular moon, but it will be bigger and fuller in the sky. And that happens at about 1245 Eastern. So the best view, or let's, let, me, let me check that. Hang on just a second and let me check that time. I don't want to give you the wrong time. No, sorry, 225 p.m. I was conflicting that with the other aspect. 225 p.m. So that makes sunset Monday night the best night to catch that full moon if it is clear where you are. All right, then we have really the big aspect of the day. And I'm going to go ahead and take all of this off because I want to save it for the main signature that we have this square between Jupiter and Saturn. Now, this is a really big deal because this is going to hit three times between now and next summer. This hits today or Monday, the 19th. And then it will also hit again on December 24th, and then it will hit again next July 2025. And this one stands out because it involves two of the big planets, Jupiter and Saturn. They are big in size. They are slow moving. They take time. These are the theme developers. So we have this square. Now, if you remember, we had these two conjoined. They were together in the sky in December of 2020. COVID was in full swing. Saturn and Pluto had happened in January of 2020. This was December. So we've been in this separation where they've been moving toward the square, Jupiter, Saturn, Jupiter moving faster than Saturn. But here we are. So this is it. Now we're there. We've hit this first square. And because of the retrogrades, it's going to dance back and forth several times. So that's really one of the big, big themes that we're going to be living out all the way until next year. The rest of this year and next year, we've been in it. We've been moving toward it. That's, again, all this tension that's going on. You can just feel it. I mean, it's everywhere, right? This is part of it. This is part of why. Then we get a couple of days off, and the next big day is Thursday, the 22nd. And what we have there is Mars, the planet of conflict and aggression, in the dual sign of Gemini, is squaring 
our little benefic Venus over here. <laughs> Poor Venus. <laughs> but there's another square aspect on Thursday, and that's another big one. Venus represents the things that we love, the things that we value. Love itself is under Venus. So is money. So all of those different areas. I mean, I'm thinking particularly if you're in a relationship and things aren't just quite the best or any kind of relationship, it would be really good this week to be thinking, I'm going to just give a lot of slack, a lot of space, and let this whole kind of energy pass. But come Thursday, relationships could be in the spotlight. If your relationship is rock solid and you're doing great, then actually this could be a time that you could take that relationship to higher ground. It's not a time to fear. It's a time to dig in and say, how can we even make this better? This is so good, but let's just think of ways that we can make it even better. Then we have a little bit of a pause. And Saturday, the 24th, early in the morning, I have this chart set east coast to way before sunrise but mars sextiles mercury and then in the afternoon we have mars also sextiling chiron so that's up here and we have those two sextiles both on saturday so the weekend gets a lot lighter is the bottom line and we'll welcome that by the time it gets here because the thick energy of this week is going to, like, we are going to be ready for a break. Well, we get it. We get it a little bit starting on Saturday. On the Tuesday audio podcast of this week, I take a look at even things that are further down the line, things that are still ahead of us in September, October, November, December, and even into a little bit of early next year. So there still is more stuff out there, but once we get past the challenges of this week with all of that that we've seen, we're going to take a little collective sigh. This is going to at least be lighter. Mars is going to have to behave his little self when we get to Saturday. He's going to have to smile and shine it up, and so will we, and we'll look forward to that. And with Mars, we can have a really nice, fun, restful party weekend. Let's go play. I hope that helps visualize this week. We've got to get through Monday. Then we can at least be on the backside of all of this thicker energy. Stay on your highest path. Stay on the high timeline. Focus on the goal. Realize that the people you work with, many of your family members, like they don't listen to this stuff. So they don't know. And they, if they did know, would it matter, right? But you are like the ship going through the rough sea. So be steady, be firm, cut the path, stay on your course, highest timeline, and we'll see you on the other side of all of this. I'll see you every day this week, Monday through Friday, financial podcast on Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week.